Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the weekly press briefing of the Kosovo Specialist Chambers, where we aim to provide journalists with an update on the latest developments at the court and the opportunity to ask questions. Due to compelling humanitarian grounds, the trial panel has instructed the registry to manage a custodial visit to Kosovo for Mr. Krasnici to meet immediate family. The, the accused remains in detention and in the custody of the specialist chambers. EULEX and Kosovo police are supporting the specialist chambers. On 3rd October 2024, President Trendafilova assigned a constitutional court panel to decide on a referral by Salih Mustafa from 27th September, in which he alleges, among others, that his constitutional rights have been violated when the Supreme Court allowed Victims' Council to make submissions concerning his request for protection of legality, and when the Supreme Court decided that the Yugoslav law from 1976 was not applicable as a basis to determine the sentencing range. Mr. Mustafa also requested that his case be returned to the appropriate panel for retrial. The Constitutional Court panel consists of Judges Vida Stansland, Ruman Nenkov, and Romina Inkati. On 4th October, the trial panel ordered the continued detention of Haji Shala and Sabit Yanuzi. For Haji Shala, the panel saw a risk of flight. In regards to both accused, the panel found that there continues to be a risk that they may obstruct the progress of proceedings and or commit further crimes. In particular, the panel found that they both would have the motive, means, and opportunity to exert pressure on witness one and to dissuade him from participating in the proceedings or to otherwise tamper with evidence. The panel furthermore considered that the imminent start of the trial and the accused increased access to sensitive witness-related information as a result of the ongoing disclosure process constitute relevant factors in assessing the possibility that the accused might obstruct the progress of proceedings. The panel concluded that it is only through the communication monitoring framework applicable at the specialist chamber's detention facilities that the accused communications can be restricted in a manner to sufficiently mitigate these risks. In the case of Sabit Yanuzi, Ismet Bakhtiari, and Haji Shala, the trial panel on 7th and 8th October held trial preparation conferences aiming at discussing any issue that needs to be resolved for an expeditious start of the trial. Following discussions on, amongst others, investigations, anticipated evidence and disclosure, the panel issued a number of oral orders on 8th of October. The panel took note of the confirmation by the defense teams of Mr. Schala and Mr. Bakhtiari regarding their readiness and availability to start the trial on Friday, 8th November 2024, with trial hearings to be held in the week from 11th to 15th November. The panel decided that in case Mr. Yanuzi's lead counsel is not available on some of these days, Mr. Yanuzi can on those days be represented by co-counsel. The panel invited the defense teams to file written submissions, if they so wish, on the proposals by the Specialist Prosecutor's Office on the submission and admissibility of non-oral evidence, the public character of the proceedings, and the fair and expeditious character of the proceedings by no later than Wednesday, 16th October. By the same deadline, the panel invited the defense teams to file submissions on the practice of witness preparation. The panel ordered the prosecution to file any request for admission of evidence other than witness testimony by 15th October. 
Should the defense wish to reply to the prosecution's submission, they are ordered to do so by 22nd October. Any further response by the prosecution has to be filed by 25th October 2024. The panel also ordered the defense teams to file their respective witness lists by 4th November. These lists shall include, amongst others, the total time estimated for the presentation of each defense case, the total number of witnesses who are expected to testify for each accused, including whether the accused himself is expected to appear as a witness, a summary of the facts on which each witness is expected to testify, the allegations in the indictment on which each witness is expected to testify, including specific reference to charges, and the estimated length of time required for direct examination of each witness. In addition, the panel directed the defense teams to include in their respective filings any request for protective measures or summons. The prosecution was ordered to file any response to the defense requests by no later than 11th November, and the defense shall file any reply by no later than 14th November 2024. Concerning the question if the prosecution at the opening of the trial shall read a summary of the indictment rather than the entire document, the panel ordered the prosecution and the Yanuzi defense to either file a joint proposal for a summary of the indictment or inform the panel that no such proposal was agreed upon. In the latter case, the indictment will be read in its entirety at the opening of the case. The panel gave the deadline of Friday, 1st November. The panel rejected the submission by the Yanuzi defense that they are unable to complete their expert investigations before the prosecution has disclosed the forensic evidence of certain mobile phones. The panel ordered the Yanuzi defense to liaise with the registry and the defense office immediately to make the necessary arrangements to secure expert assistance and to proceed without delay with the envisaged investigations. The panel instructed the prosecution and the registry to provide technical assistance to the defense teams to ensure the latter have access to forensic copies of certain phones that were seized. The panel directed the parties and the registry to in the future proactively liaise with each other in order to solve technical issues without delay. The panel announced that it intends to start the trial on 8th November 2024 with the first witness to be called the following week and that it will issue a decision on the start date as well as on witness familiarization or preparation on the conduct of proceedings and on the submission and admissibility of non-oral evidence. The next hearing before the specialist chambers is scheduled for 21st October 2024 in the Thatchy et al. case. In other news, the president of the specialist chambers, Judge Ekaterina Trendafilova, this week traveled to Kosovo for bilateral meetings, including with the EUSR, the EULEX head of mission, representatives of EU member states, and the Minister of Justice. The aim of the trip was to provide public information about the court's current activities. President Trenda Filova plans to address civil society and media in Kosovo at another time in the near future. That was all from me. If there are any questions, I'll be happy to respond.